Buffalo is obviously well known for its proximity to Niagara Falls, the snowy weather, the bills, and being the home of the Buffalo Wing. All while Duff's and the Anchor Bar typically rule the conversation over the best wings, Gabriel's Gate has been thrown out numerous times from numerous different locals. Situated right in the city's Allentown district is this gem whose no frills casual dining style has kept it alive and well for over half a century. The restaurant is one of the original Tift Row homes built in 1864 that was once an antique shop then turned into a restaurant in the 1960s. But beyond wings, the restaurant is also well known for so many other things ranging from their burgers to fish fry, unique sandwiches, and so much more. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Sorry for the awkward angle, this table's really small so I had to put you guys way up there. But today we're still in Buffalo, New York and we are here where the locals say the wings are better than the originators. So as you know the originators are Duff's and Anchor Bar. But Gabriel's Gate has seemed to transcended the originators and have better wings. So I'll be the judge of that. So here we go. Let's remove the little wooden bowl here, our bone plate. This wooden bowl seems to be pretty common around here in Buffalo, but we have two flavors today. I don't know if you can see these. We do have the Cajun dry rub on this side and a hot buffalo on this side. I'll show you a close up soon. But let's get right into it, not waste any more time. I'm gonna start with the Cajun. So I can smell that cake, that good Cajun. That is delicious. Take a look at that. Looks really good. It's gonna bite. Nice crispy wing. Not terribly tender. Maybe a little overcooked. But the flavor is really good. Not very salty. A little spice. Very good spice in the, in the Cajun here. Let's check out their sauce. This is the blue cheese. Nice and creamy. You can see how thick that is. Turn the sauce upside down. Get a little, uh, little bit of that. Try again. That's a great bouquet. Next up, we have their Buffalo Hot. So you can get four levels of Buffalo. Mild, medium, hot, and suicide. I didn't feel like suicide today. Don't blame me. But here we have a nice hot wing. Nice traditional looking flavor here. Nice and solid. Good, buttery. What even makes Buffalo Buffalo? I have no idea. Anyway, let's give it a shot. That's really good. Tender, buffalo-y, I don't know what else you want. This is a good traditional buffalo flavor. Let's try with the blue cheese. Get a little bit of that, uh-huh. You're very hot, by the way, <laughs> straight out the fryer. This is a good, solid wing. It just is. Buffalo is the place we need to come to have the wings, period. But anyway, this concludes. Breaking news. So I've decided to try the suicide sauce. It's a dollar extra for a little side here, but there's plenty of sauce. I do have two or several wings still left here. Give it a smell. It doesn't smell too bad. I can handle this. Just pour it. Go right into it. It's like a salsa almost. All right. So, got the suicide wing here. I see it sitting there. Oh, yeah, dripping. Let's go for it. It's like lemon. 
Where did he? Where did he? I'm waiting for the heat. I'm about to get me straight salsa, guy. We're dipping it in here now. We're, we're asking for it. Might pay for it later. Mm. It's a good sauce. I don't like on suicide, though. Gabriel's Gate blew me away with their hot buffalo sauce. It was one of the best hot buffalo sauces I've ever tried, even after having Duff's and Anchor Bar and other wing places in the Buffalo area. Their Cajun dry rub left a lot to be desired. It was a little lacking on the flavor, and the dry rub really dr dried the wing out. It wasn't very tender at all. The suicide sauce, like you saw in the video, did take way too long for it to kick in, and the, the heat was there after the wing was a long gone. It just didn't do it for me. So if I ever go back to Gabriel's Gate, I'm definitely sticking with the hot buffalo. 45 of them. This concludes this episode of The Hungry Road. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I forgot to say my name is still Eric. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow The Wing Addicts, their Facebook group, and their YouTube channel. The link will be in the description below. And my buddy Paul's Restaurants USA Facebook group. Go follow them. And remember, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away 101 bucks to one of you lucky people. Take care, guys. Stay safe.